Hey you guys and welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. I am your chef Sharice and today we are in the Corona Apocalypse, girl. So what we're making today is a vegan vegetable stuffing casserole, which is using like about 90% of non-perishable items, which, cause I know I've seen some of you guys on those groups. I've seen you being like, oh, I only have to go out like once a week to get my oat milk. No, honey, just get yourself a stash of oats and you can make your own homemade oat milk for way cheaper. Y'all, you all know me, you all know me. So <laughs> before we jump in, I did want to mention that if you find value from this channel and you want to help support, you can via PayPal or Patreon, which will be linked below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you smash that like button. You know what, fuck it, let's just jump right in. The first thing I want to do is start with our stuffing. So surprise, surprise, stove top pork out of all of them even the vegetable one the cornbread one out of all of them the pork one is accidentally vegan so we are going to prepare per directions now look you only need one you only need one box you only need one box but my husband okay he loves stuffing so we're doing two boxes we go in ham we gonna make this yield more more carbs hello hi how are you coronavirus i'm scared let's just eat our feelings so <laughs> so we're gonna do this as long as you use vegan butter it is vegan and we're gonna get this going. If you've seen my channel before, girl, you know I am obsessed with an onion gravy. So it's kind of like a cream of onion soup instead of a cream of mushroom soup. So if you like mushrooms, you can certainly do mushrooms instead of onions, but I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> so we're gonna saute these down in a little bit of oil. We took the onions out of this pot, but we have that nice char going on, so we're still gonna use that because that's gonna add extra flavor to our gravy. So I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of vegan butter, and then I'm, once this melts down, we're gonna start adding our flour, and we're making a roux. Girl, you know, you've seen my videos before. You gotta do the roux before you do the bechamel, and y'all know bechamel is just a fancy word for gravy. Now we're gonna add our fourth cup of flour. We're just gonna keep this going until it starts to form almost like a paste, but we wanna let this go for about a minute to get out that floury flavor. As you can see, we got a lot of these bits up, so we're going to add one cup of, girl, you guessed it, my homemade vegan oat milk, and I know some of you like, I can't stand seeing this clip all the time, but some of you like, girl, we love that clip. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna roll that clip. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Hey, We're also going to add a cup of vegetable broth. We want to keep whisking to get all of that roux broken up in here. And we're going to crank up our heat and we're going to just let her simmer down and reduce. We have a 13 by nine that we filled with two bags of frozen vegetables. So I like to do the mixed vegetables and then broccoli because I just like broccoli. But again, as per usual on this channel, you do you. So we're gonna add our onions from our saute. And then we're gonna start seasoning. So I'm gonna do onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. But you know what? I'm not gonna tell you how much to do because that's not my business, girl. You just do whatever you feel. Whenever your ancestors cry at you, that's when you know to stop. Look at how thick our bechamel got. So we're gonna pour that whole bad boy in there. Stir everything together. After we spread her all out, we're gonna start adding our stuffing on top. So I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees. Fahrenheit and we're gonna go let her go for about 30 minutes But if your vegetables were like super frozen when you put them in there You're probably gonna have to do 40 minutes like use your best judgment You guys oh my god look at her. Oh, she's so colorful. She's so juicy. Oh Let's just let, let's just we got it. We have to do this Oh my god Mm-hmm mm -hmm. Oh my God. Girl, it's like a pot pie, but on crack, because you have the stuffing, which gives it so much extra flavor. 
well, I'm shook. I mean, I'm shook the house, honestly. If you don't make this, I don't know what you're doing in life. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Mm, let me show you again. Look at her. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it really hits the comfort food spot that you need in this craziness going on, which makes sure you wash your hands. Like, don't fuck around. Wash your hands. Don't freak out, but wash your hands. You know what I'm saying? Full written recipe, as per usual, will be linked below. MidnightMunchiesAndMore.com. Make sure you share with your friends. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, good night kisses, Wally wishes, and reminiscences. His eyes kiss and Wally wishes for the full moon above. Oh, I worry dove, passionate love. Listening closely, position in my intuition for her nutrition and ambition. Nutrition and ambition, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.